had like ran away from home and I wanted to be a rebel, so I went off and got a tattoo. My name is Cesar Vargas and I'm from Los Angeles, California. I've been getting tattooed since I was in high school. It was a piece, I don't remember the artist because it was in a garage. I had like ran away from home and I wanted to be a rebel so I went out off and got a tattoo. And it, it, was, a, it was just a cross, you know, for for my dad who had just passed away. Well, it was a cross with praying hands and it said, rest in peace, dad. Longest session was say, 12 hours with uh, Moni Marino. It was an uh, Aztec girl and I got it in memory of my uh, friend who passed away as well at age 21 from cancer. Some of my tattoos are meaningful. Some of them I just do it for the collection. I let the artists, I like their art, and I just want to have a piece by them. It, my life hasn't really changed dramatically. I mean, I'm just a coloring book, that's about it. People see me as a coloring book. Oh, people love it. People love the tattoos, especially, you know, when I'm out in the gym and they see me, they're like, wow, that is so cool. Like, yeah, so a lot of people don't know that tattoos can look that good, you know. The hardest part is getting the appointment. <laughs> it's like you just constantly have to message them and not give up, you know? The time will come, I guess. Someone's gonna have to pick you. <laughs> I find my artist by Instagram most of the time. Uh, you know, I follow different artists and then sometimes artists post a different artist so I go click on their page, you know, I just link from one page to another and I start finding all these great artists. I think definitely my most memorable tattoo is gonna be getting tattooed three days straight, like for maybe 70% of one leg and then uh, the back thigh of the, another leg on the third day and final day. It was horrible. I, I couldn't walk like for a week. It was horrible, horrible experience. <laughs> Never do it again. Not, I can't do it again, but yeah. It was a collaboration between Yomiko and Jack Connolly. That was one day and then another day was Moni Marino and then the third day was Valentina from Russia. I like, I like getting tattooed at both conventions and shops, depending on the area I'm getting tattooed. I mean, sometimes at a convention, it makes you not cry. It pushes you, you can't cry in front of people, you know what I'm saying? You gotta look like a tough guy. But uh, I like getting tattooed at a shop just because it's more relaxed, you know? If you, if you need to show a butt cheek or something, I mean, it's easier to do it behind a closed wall and not in front of like a bunch of people looking at your butt, yeah. <laughs> Some artists I wish to get tattooed by are all of them. They're all amazing and new ones keep coming out, but uh, I think uh, definitely Nico Tado, Carlos Torres, you know, those two guys are like impossible to get. <laughs> well, I wouldn't say impossible, I just gotta keep trying harder.
I've been tattooed by Moni Marino, Mateo Pascualin, Roman Abrego, Victor Portugal, Jack Connolly, Steve Butcher, Yomiko, Q Tattoo, Sake, Robert Zila, Mick Squires, Valentina Riabova, Czech Crook, and I've been tattooed by Ivano Natale. My name is Cesar Vargas from Los Angeles, California. Thanks for checking out my collection. Shit. Your idea or concept? Or concept, yeah. Say that again. Um, what did I say? Fuck. <laughs> 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 Oh, thank God. So you're from 